Hi, welcome to SNS Cycle. I'm George Smith, Executive Chairman and CEO. My dad was a go fast guy in the late 40s and early 50s and earned a reputation for having the quickest bike in town. He decided to parlay that into a business, and in 1958 he started SNS Cycle in the basement of our house in suburban Chicago. He continued to have a full-time job at the Wyman Gorman Division where he became the foreman of the die shop and learned the technical trade of actually making quality parts. He coupled his, his racing experience with his work experience and started SNS. Dad continued to work two jobs from 58 on. And then finally in 1969 he thought that the business in the basement had gotten to the point where it would sustain the operation. So he packed up everything and he and Ma moved to Viola, Wisconsin. Now the original building was 32 by 64, that was 1969, that housed the whole business. And as the business grew over the years we added on and added on and added on. So now we've got about 160,000 square feet in Viola and with the expansion to La Crosse in 2004, another 160,000 square feet there. As you tour the facility you'll see how we put all of that expertise to work and the flexibility that we offer. Over the years, our proven performance motto has been made true by all of our efforts at the racetrack, whether it be the drag strip or the great white dyno known as the Bonneville Salt Flats. This has enabled us to make the very best parts for your street bike. I want to turn this over to Scott Shovel, our VP of Product Development. He'll tell you about the R&D and engineering effort and our capabilities in that vein. Hi, I'm Scott Shovall from uh, SNS Cycle. I'm the Vice President of Product Development here at SNS Cycle. Uh, we have the capability to do basically, like I said, anything from a full-on engine program to just the smaller items that, uh, that we need here for the aftermarket. Here at SNS Cycle, we use both uh, 3D modeling and two-dimensional modeling uh, computer programs to deal with designing products. The 3D modeling software that we use also allows us to do another really neat feature. Um, sitting in front of me here is an SLS model, uh, basically a, a laser centering system that can produce a rapid prototype model from a three-dimensional design that the designers have done here in-house. So instead of designing something and waiting months for a tooling or a prototype to be made up, uh, they can load the model into the SLS machine and by the next morning have a, a real part uh, to look at, to check fitment, to check and see how it looks. Um, if we want to, we can even turn this into an investment casting and have an aluminum part that can be run. Uh, this is what allows us to go from uh, an idea generation to the actual production cylinder like this one that's actually been in a motor and run. Um, but everything was done here first, and that, that really allows us to speed up the design process and look at something in real life before you, uh, you go forward with the design. We also have engine models to do the modeling the engine performance in the engine so that we can predict horsepower, and we have a complete valve train harmonic modeling system that uh, allows us to do the cam designs. So really, from an electronic standpoint, we can design, model, and test an electronic world, an entire engine package, uh, before we even make a chip. To go along with this uh, rapid prototype machine that we have that makes these type of parts, our R&D department has a lot of other tools that they use to develop a uh, product line. We have engine dynos that we can put these new, new products on an engine and run the engine through an entire durability program, so similar to a drag strip test. Uh, we can also do high-speed data acquisition. Uh, basically, we really pound these motors, pound the hell out of them to, to see what is going to make them break, where is their breaking points at. Uh, from there, we also have several chassis dynos that we can then take that motor, put it into a motorcycle chassis, and see how it's going to work with the rest of the motorcycle. There we do a lot of calibration work, a lot of horsepower testing uh, to get results that we can talk to the customer about. Of course, there's also no, no substitute for real world, and we also do a lot of street bike riding, uh, cross-country miles, or even here in the valley with our fleet of test motorcycles to make sure that we're not missing anything on the other dynos. Um, we have an endurance test stand that we can put on that we can rack up over 800 hours on in a short, short amount of time. That's about a 50,000 mile test. So it, really all the way from the engine dyno to the chassis dynos, endurance dynos, and then street riding, you can, uh, you can hit about every aspect of proving out these components. And when we're all done with that, SNS Cycle is also very lucky that we have an emissions lab. It's a fully certified 50 state emissions lab 
that any of our products or if we have a customer that would like us to test their product, they can bring it here. We can do the full either tailpipe emissions or the uh, uh, shed testing on those parts. So we really have it wrapped up from the beginning to the end. One of the very important parts of the engineering uh, job function here at SNS Cycle is valve train design. And we have that covered from the beginning to the end and that we have the computer system to model the entire valve train system and all the harmonics that happen uh, depending on the lobe shape and how the valve springs and everything interact. We also have then we can transfer that information into an engine model that actually predicts horsepower and performance of that cam in the, in the bike. We're very lucky that we can actually then take that design, go downstairs to the manufacturing floor and make those cams in house. We have a great facility with a Landis machine down there that we can pretty much grind any cam we want. From that, once we have that cam in hand, we have what we call a Spintron uh, machine, which is essentially a valve train dyno. Um, that machine, once you put or select your valve train and your cam that you want to run together, will basically operate at any RPM that you set it to, and we have a high-speed data acquisition for it in that we can take a laser, uh, it's a laser positioning sensor that tells us exactly when you have valve bounce or float over the top. We also have high-speed photography to watch for spring surge. Um, and then going on to the dyno's end to do the, the final testing to validate the engine models. We really have the bases covered when it comes to valve train design and that's been an exciting part of our uh, work here lately. Hi, I'm Sean Arch, uh, Director of Manufacturing here at SNS Cycle. Here at SNS Cycle, we've got uh, over 50 CNC machining centers. CNC is computer numerical controlled machining. Um, the, the machining centers have uh, computers on them that uh, do all the moving of the machines. It allows the machines to put in a program similar to your PC you might have in your desk and it uh, moves the machine around, controls the cutting speeds and feeds of the cutting and also does all the tool changing and tracks the um, efficiencies of the machines as well as the, the tool life of them. We do a lot of operator level quality checks on our parts when we're machining them. Um, some of them are get done before they take them off the fixtures so then it allows them to send the part back into the machine if something was wrong and re recut it. Um, but a lot of them are done outside the machines where they're using a, either a, a caliper, a micrometer, dial bore gauges. Some of our more precise measurements uh, require air gauging um, that uses a, a blast of air to check diameters, either inside diameters or ODs of parts, um, which is more precise than using our micrometers. And we also do checks of our parts on our CMM machine, a coordinate measuring machine. Um, Similar to a CNC machining center, all this one just uses a computer to probe and check apart even more precisely um, than the machines probe can do it. SNS Cycle is an American company. We get the vast majority of our parts right here in the United States, and we're very proud of that. And we can tell it in the way our workforce produces those parts. Over the course of the years, SNS has developed a complete manufacturing capability from product conception to design to prototype to production tooling, manufacturing, packaging, warehousing, sales, and distribution. SNS Cycle has the capability to design, test, and manufacture just about anything.